Hey y'all, I know it's probably a jump scare. Like this girl is wet. She got a YouTube video out, I know. And I don't wanna spend too much time yapping right here, but please yap with me. This is going to be a yapping video. I got a couple questions I can cover that you guys wanted to know most recently. I am 30, almost 31. I am back to YouTube. I miss it. I want to try it again and not even try it again. I just want to I just want to do it. And that's my business and that's my right. So let's go ahead and just get into this yapping ass video. Please excuse all the noise that you're hearing. There's a lot of construction um, going on around me and near me. Um, also got new neighbors moving in. As you can hear, they're like banging on the walls, hanging up probably some bomb pretty frames and pictures and whatnot. So we're not going to hate on them, but just a disclaimer. So, woo, child. I want to get into, first of all, what has been going on since previous times of you guys seeing me? Um, on YouTube, which was probably a year ago. I believe I did this visual diary and I don't remember what year that was, but ever since the pandemic, we'll get into that. But first, let's go ahead and um, wipe and exfoliate this skin right here. Dry girl, I think I'm going to use Elemis. I'm going to use the Elemis Dynamic Resurfing. The dynamic resurfacing facial pads i love me some elements straight out of london i want to exfoliate um these work really good on my forehead as far as like a toner and getting debris off so i got my little mirror right here but anywho, the last time i was on this joint i was trying out visual diaries i had already been removed from the the platform in the sense of i just haven't been using it when it came to creating content and i was at a different juncture in my life i want to say that was 28 i don't know y'all it's it's been a minute um i'll be 31 this year and i feel like then i had just had a different shift and adjustment in my life um during the pandemic and I haven't talked about that at all online, really. So, yeah, that's why you got YouTube good. So, for me, you know, that time frame when everybody was inside, you know, all of us being inside, my life changed, like, overnight in the sense of evolving and moving forward receiving things that I've been wanting for so long, etc. And I moved back into a part of town in California. You know, I'm a California girl where um, I always said when I was older, I would be back in this vicinity. And so if you know, you know. I'm telling y'all, I've been waiting between all these different days and hours. I was like, bro, I can't be... I need to do these videos. I want to get them, you know, I want to get them off me, you know? And everybody just want to be so loud right now. Anyways, Paula's Choice, I really like that they put like the steps, the numbers. So I have three, four, and five. And then some like, I don't know if this is just yet, but we'll get into that. So anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, once everybody was inside, my life catapulted. And I was able to invest in myself. And where it is I wanted to be in life on the side of town that I was accustomed to growing up in. Hold on. Okay. Okay. They said not to wipe this off. It's going to be like a toner. Hold on now. Hold on now. 2% BHA liquid exfoliant salicylic acid. I always say that wrong. Anyways, it unclogs and shrinks in large pores, smooths and even skin tone. Lightweight liquid absorbs quickly all skin types. I'm liking the way it feels. It's not tacky or sticky, but it it is it, also not the consistency of water. It's a little, it's thicker than water, that's for sure, but it has no stick to it. Okay, let me find out. This is like the ordinary. Boom. Moved into the area that I was accustomed to. Um that I wanted to be in, that made me feel comfortable. And 
doing my own thing again just in a different way there was so much more abundance um and i had just changed i wasn't wearing wigs no more who child oh you can't pay me to put another wig on um natural hair again my hair had grown back out after i had like buzzed it off trying to get it back to where it needed to be as far as health um, and I was just in a different space and if you follow me on Instagram and them other places you saw it like you could tell there was a glow up I was more happier um, I had left behind people that I was dating on and off you know repeatedly as that pattern I was just growing up and evolving so since then it's kind of again it goes back to my choice I just resonated more with other platforms and I prefer to share without having to describe things and do you know story times and stuff like that you guys saw there just there was a difference so instead of me bringing that here i just did it and a part of me i kind of feel like dang i should have i could have but we can't do nothing about that we're just we're just here now so this is number four treat polish choice pro retinol the hide dual retinoid treatment High potency, gentle release. Um, this is results for aging and clear skin. It says to do this after what I just did, the exfoliate. And sitting here talking, y'all could tell there is something on my skin. It's like a serum, but it's not tacky, sticky, and it's lighter than a ser serum, but it's not like water. It's right in the middle. And this is my first experience with Polish Choice. I'm liking this. This might replace a uh, Mirad for me. Okay, but we'll see. This is clinical. Uh, ooh, why I do stuff like that, bro? And why is it yellow? Why? It ain't get too much everywhere. <sighs> Can't help it. Um, okay, let me take this off properly. All right, okay. <laughs> it's disarmed. Um, it's clearly yellow. We know that now. Oh, I'm excited. My skin is dry. Um, I have, can y'all please, whatever y'all hanging up, you starting to get on my nerves now. You know, new neighbors be doing the most. Like, if you don't stop, okay. Dry skin, girly, this is treat after you exfoliate. And the point of this one is to what? Okay, you only use three times a week. Apply pumps over face and neck, avoiding eyes, daytime, and then follow up with sunscreen moisturizer. Okay. Well, we just gonna do that very lightweight i expected the yellowness to like give me like a turmeric vibe because i have used turmeric based skincare that would give like an orange tint but that tint is not here as we see okay let me put some on this forehead just you know get into it my skin is a very dry girly and in the summertime specifically around actually right before summertime in april and july I be having breakouts like crazy. It's wild. So me finding a new skincare um, product that people have told me, if you have sensitive skin, Polish Choice is a good route. And I do have sensitive skin, but dry sensitive skin. Okay. Woo. Anywho's, I'm going to keep rubbing this in. Neighbors are blowing me with all this nailing stuff into walls like goodness gracious y'all probably can't even hear none of that and i'm over here complaining about it child anyways let me let it go what i do want to get into because what's been important to me um most recently is like i've talked about it on tiktok and turning 30 people tell you that life will change you know that saturn return t uh 27 28 and up and it ends at a certain point it's like They'll tell you the woes. They'll tell you if you don't get your life in order, things will start to, you know, fall apart, towers happen, etc. But nobody told me that entering 30, my mind would start to act as if it's on speed. Like all of these options and ideas and being curious of new things, old things that I overlooked and just all these thoughts of like, if I do this, this could happen. And if I, it's like... I don't want to say crackhead because I don't like to talk about people like that um, anymore. But you get what I'm saying? So I've been at that stage and I'm about to be 31 um, where it's like, I just, 
there's so much on my mind. I look at the world so differently. I look at my independence so differently. I look at myself so differently. Like, wow, you're really fucking cool. You from California. You And if you know being out in California to, you know, be independent, that is like, especially as a native, that's like a gone brush your shoulders off, okay? So that's a big deal. And if you're from a big city, probably Chicago, New York, et cetera, you know that's a big deal to be on your own um, and not complain about it, not have no handouts, you know, you really thug it and bugging. That's your girl. So I see life through a new lens and I am just so excited, but nobody told me the mental status that 30 has amplified with just like, there's so much that you can do and can be done and learned, etc. And it's, it's a little chaotic. It's not orderly. And some of you guys, when I posted on Instagram and TikTok, you had a couple questions about independency. So let's yap a little bit about that. Y'all like my little phone? I got this at, um, who gave me this? I want to say it was the Patrick Ta Burt Bees event that I most recently went to. And yeah. Oh, look. I slammed my finger in the door and it's bruised now. Can y'all see that? Anyways, so I think I have screenshots of some of the questions that I, um, I got a couple months ago, but let me just go back on the story really quick and look at this. So this is what I posted. I happen to be in the same robe or whatever. That right there is what I'm talking about. Majority of the questions, which it wasn't a whole lot, but majority of them were simply straight to the point about independency. A lot of you guys just have interest, I guess, in a more non-elevated way because I do see a lot of it is rampant. Everybody. Um, shows their independency home life in a very elevated way and for some of you guys especially which I feel like I've always called myself a regular girl okay SZA she had a down pack with this one right here you know just a normal regular girl it's like I don't need to express myself in that way to feel luxurious etc no shade no tea to people who do it but there's audiences out there that feels that's a little intimidating or it's skipping a step there's no in between and you guys want insight on the in between um i would say when it comes to being independent and leaving the nest home wherever you come from um it's all about really getting mentally emotionally organized and set on who you want to be just for yourself we can see just a little bit it's a lot going on dang this should have been on like golly between construction and everything i'm this close bro <laughs> anyway so as you can see this is kind of settling into my skin y'all see Y'all seeing all that glow right there though? Y'all seeing that? Okay, now we're gonna do number five, which is to moisturize. It says to do it in the AM. This is the Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid Broad Spectrum SPF 50, honey. Anywho's water light fluid minimizes the appearance of pores, prevents UV damage and signs of aging. When it comes to you wanting to be independent, you mentally and emotionally need to be squared away with you knowing who you ooh, who you want to be in this world. Okay, this is a very watery. Okay, so Paula's Choice, everything they do is watery. I ain't mad at it, I just wanna point that out. Okay, ooh, it smell like I'm at the pool. It smell like I'm at the pool, y'all. It smell like I got a daiquiri on the way. I didn't order me some shrimp tacos, some guacamole, we got the little cabana going, you know. Mm, okay, DJ is, is up on the little stage and whatnot. Okay, we didn't order a bottle of uh, a Clico. You know, yeah, okay, get into it. Anyways, you need to get fully into a space of knowing exactly what it is you want to do. Why do you want to be independent? Not because it's um, just what everyone's supposed to do or should have. It's you need to make a list of your why. What is your reason for wanting so badly to be independent on your own and self-sufficient and not having to rely on other people? Once you get that in mind and it just loops and ruminates for you of like, it's, 
you on a mission and you can't see or think or fathom anything else that's when opportunities start to flood in to start to support the building brick by brick by brick of independency so i would say if you're still in a position where you aren't independent you're relying on other people um you need to start really really without giving yourself anxiety that's the key don't give yourself anxiety and do not doubt it but you need to flirt with it mentally think of it this way it's like you texting with some little knucklehead boy or something like that on the phone where you just you know cat and mouse you need to be cat and mouse with your thoughts and ideas about wanting independency wanting your own home car etc whoop -de -whoop. for me just some context it took me i was fresh out of high school and i had moved into the dorms okay and then it shoot i wasn't even i moved into the dorms when i was 17. i had my apartment at 18. so it was very quick very straight away but it was simply because i could not get my mind off of that idea and the taste and the experience of being on my own and having my own and it could be as simple as you just describing you want your own place because you want to decorate you want your own place because you want to walk around naked you want your own place because you finally want to get a cat you want your own place because it's, it's survival means for you and you want to feel safe you want to have a peace of mind rejoice and release and all of that when it comes to your safety and your survival like it could be a slew of things it doesn't have to be big priority reasons small part it could be anything but it has you have to flirt with it not be afraid of it and not put too much pressure into the how you're going to do things you just gotta fantasize about it and romanticize it in your mind um and for some people that's easy some people it's a little tougher i don't i wouldn't know the reasons why it's tougher but I'm telling you, it's definitely something that has to take place. Now, what a lot of people don't like to talk about is um, enriching one's mind with certain stuff that's necessary to help you get to a status of, oh, it's easy to flirt in my head and think about all the things I want and why I want to be independent, etc. You need to read books that have to do with, you know, um, dreaming, manifesting, um, you know, uh, the laws of the universe, like very, very, or even books about prayer, you know, and expecting your prayers to, to, to be whatever the case may be. Those types of books, when you start to have that around you and see it from a different perspective, paradigm, the author may say something that clicks for you that no one has ever said before or sort of said it, but they ain't say it that way that can help you open up that door like a gateway to be like i can literally envision and see and flirt with the idea of what it is to be like um an independent woman or whatever so second question that you guys had um that summarizes a whole bunch of questions on this short list of questions if i say questions one more time anyways you guys wanted to know how to get into the independency but once you're there how do you sustain it how do you keep the ball rolling and for me i would definitely say you keep the ball rolling um by being hungry and hungry in the sense of you are being honest with yourself about everything you've never done before what you should be doing how you could be doing it and then researching the blueprints of other people in close proximity or at a distance whether it's online parasocial or within your life of how they seem because you don't really know people unless they're really telling you how it seems they might be doing something that allows themselves to sustain and i'm not saying that in a snoopy way creepy way and being in the mix of other people's business but sometimes it is good just to have a representation so once you get into your independency it's not a time to slack off it's a time to open up your mind and be creative and willing um, and curious with the the variables of your life now. Who's your hat when I tell you the noise? Ooh. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. The noise. The noise levels. So it's about getting into the mindset of taking inventory of the variables of your life because you're now at a different juncture. Okay. You saw it in your mind. You now have it. What do you do with it? So that for you might be you need to buckle down on school 
getting um, your financial aid, saving some of it, going over your budgeting, how you spend. You may have never been somebody that ever thought about finances. You just get money, spend it, get money, spend it. And I feel you, girl, I feel you. And I'm not here to shame that, but maybe for you in this new season of, okay, now you have independency, you need to take a little a little course or something in a little budgeting finance. You know, you might want to sit at Barnes and Nobles or purchase the books if you can about how to budget as an independent living person and single. Um, you might need to double down on your workout routines because you know that you have a habit of slumping into a mental emotional status and working out helps you kick that out. So now that you're on your own, you got to commit to working out. You know, you need to know yourself and be honest and not be afraid write it out and get clear with it about i know myself i slip when i don't do this i get moody and i start slacking when i don't do this and you need to create a regimen and a routine for yourself now for me personally i don't like anything that's too rigid i don't like expectations of me i don't like rigidness because it robs me of like the joy um, and gratitude about every present moment for me. So you may be similar to that. You have to create a more flowy type of regimen, but at the same time, you gotta keep it real with yourself. So that would be my answer to that. So I'm noticing that Polish Toys had these two left in their little goodie bag they gave me from the event. And what I'm noticing is they're both the they're both they're both a booster. One is collagen, the other is vitamin C. But the vitamin C it expires in three months. So that I did not know. And I need to throw out vitamin C products that I've had from Dermalogica ASAP. Um, and then I'm a collagen girl because of Elemis. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go with this um, boosting collagen multi-peptide all skins provides multi-layer visible firming plumps and smoothing wrinkles okay so it come a little tincture a little tincture so we're gonna try this right here like this like so we're gonna get a little bit in there it's watery i'm now seeing paula's choice is about watery products and i'm here for it now this feels like a serum but it's not tacky and sticky okay okay paula girl okay they said she's the choice the people's choice okay let me rub that in let me get it going this is nice this is real nice tiffany haddish voice yeah hold on what is in this this is like glowy serum non tacky thick sticky serum that just feel like you gliding just this glowy butter on you okay paula's choice let's get into it skin finna be oh wait and don't let me get my eyebrows all the way together and get some going let me tell you something paula's choice hey i'm not gonna hold you this whole little four step that i did right here this feels like this is the perfect for dry skin girls prep before you do your makeup. So if you start seeing me do this more often, yeah, get into it, yeah. Child, I feel like I've been yapping a little too long. But um, I just wanna say this, life been hell of a difference. <laughs> and I'm very grateful that I've been able to whether you want to call it ascend, evolve, all these other words, expand, grow. Um, I'm grateful that I've done it and I'm grateful that I've continued to blossom more into myself. That's something that I just contribute to always showing up for myself. Like that's a big thing and I think I'll end this video of yapping. I like to show up for myself in here and in here and that is is definitely something that regardless if you're a yapper regardless if you're independent or not independent it's underrated and it it definitely i want to say breeds results i don't know why but it gives results and you guys have been able to on the outside look it in again without the descriptions and explanations of it you guys have been seeing it you know um, and it's been the recent like five years and 
um, without telling my business and all of that, because y'all know I don't, I'm always stick to that. Like, hold on now, it's a fine line. Keep certain things to yourself. I just, I don't know y'all. I, I appreciate my journey. I ain't scared of it. And you shouldn't be scared of it either. Now, I feel like we didn't yap a little too much. We could have yapped way more, but I was trying to reel it in because I knew I wanted to go over these like two basic category questions around the one topic of independency. Um, and yeah, so make sure y'all subscribe. I know you guys see me and then you don't. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna switch that up because it's you know something about this year just told me I feel like I resonate again with YouTube. So we're gonna do it without putting all the extras of every Tuesday at five o'clock in the I A nah uh uh you better go to her channel for that. Don't do that. Don't be no I don't roll like that. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I don't do that. But I do wanna make sure that we spend time with each other, we yap. I could give y'all some reviews. I could give motivation, you know, all that good stuff, and it could be long form. So, again, subscribe, like, I appreciate y'all. Um, thank you for staying on the channel all these years. And, yeah, it's just, hey, we're going we gonna to keep the ball rolling. It, it's always going to happen. You know what I'm saying? So, I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>